Hey folks, it's time for another TK Actions quick tip. Now, if you're a TK Actions user, you may have noticed that levels and curves shows up three places in the TK Actions V6 panel. It shows up in the combo and CX modules. It also shows up twice in the rapid mass module, both in the modify section and in the output section. So in this quick tip, I'm gonna explain why levels and curves shows up in three different places and how to use them. The functions of levels and curves in those three different locations are explained in the written instructions that come with the V6 panel and also in my V6 video guide tutorials, but not all necessarily in one place. So I can understand why it might be confusing to new users why levels and curves shows up in different places throughout the panel. Fortunately, it's not a complex explanation, so I think I can help anyone out who has that question. So let's take a look. The first place we'll talk about levels and curves is in the combo and CX modules. I'm counting this as one place because the combo module and the CX module are exactly the same other than their layout. In my workspace, I use the CX module because it's tall and thin and takes up less real estate. But all the buttons and functions in the two versions of this module are the same. The combo and CX modules put all of the things that photographers do in Photoshop frequently together in one place and accessible with one click of a button. This saves a ton of time hunting all over the place for things in menus and panels or remembering a lot of keyboard shortcuts. Levels and curves are located right here in the purple menu and here's curves and here's levels. If I were to click one of these, let's say curves, it just automatically creates a curves adjustment layer with a white mask attached and opens the curves property box so I can make a curves adjustment to this image. That's no different than adding a curves layer by going to the layer menu and then coming down to new adjustment layer and then coming over to curves, but you can see it's much easier. And it's also no different than coming down here to the layers panel and opening up this menu and adding curves. So same thing, it just puts your access to those adjustment layers, not only levels and curves, but all the other adjustment layers right here in amongst all these other things that you do frequently in Photoshop. The second place that you'll find levels and curves is in the Rapid Mass 2 module here in the Modify section. The function of the Rapid Mass 2 module is to create luminosity mass and other types of mass, modify those masks, and then use or output those masks. The workflow in the Rapid Mask module is to start by selecting a source for your mask creation. In this case, I'm gonna make a composite mask source, which is from the RGB channel. And once that source is set, now I can create a whole range of different masks from that one source. So the mask that we're looking at is a Lights 1 mask, but if I wanted to make a Lights 2 mask or a Lights 3 mask, or a darks one mask or midtone mask or zone mask or any of that, I can do that by simply clicking a button. I'll go back to the lights one mask. A lot of times these standard masks that you can create from these buttons are gonna do what you need, but other times you may want to customize or modify the mask. And that's where the modify section comes in. All of these buttons in the modify section allow you to modify masks in different ways. Levels and curves allow you to modify the mask using a levels adjustment or a curves adjustment. For example, if I modify this mask with a levels adjustment, I could bring up the highlights slider to create more focus on the highlight area. And then I could bring down the mid-tone and the dark sliders to further protect uh, the dark areas of the image. And when I click OK, now those modifications have been recorded in the rapid mask down here in the channels panel. But let's go back to a lights one mask and see what it looks like to modify the mask with the curves adjustment layer. Now, a lot of this is the same as with levels. You can bring up the highlights and bring down the shadows and that's great. But one of the cool things about using a curves adjustment to modify the mask is you can use the targeted adjustment tool. So you click on the little finger icon and now I can come out here into the mask and say, I wanna lighten these light areas. So click there and drag up. And I wanna darken these dark areas. So click there and drag down. And I'm making that same adjustment, but I'm actually doing it with the tones in context with the image. 
So let's say that I think that that mask is going to target an adjustment to the parts of the image where I want it to go. And that is these bright parts of the image here we see in the middle, and it's gonna protect the dark parts of the image. And this is where the third location of levels and curves comes in, down here in the output section. The output section of the rapid mask module is for outputting the mask for different uses. And in the layer menu, this allows us to output that luminosity mask to an adjustment layer or other types of layers. And here at the top, we see curves and levels. And we also see all of the other adjustment layers that we would find in the uh, layers menu or down here at the bottom of the layers panel. The difference here between these adjustment layers and the adjustment layers in the combo module or in those other Photoshop locations is that these will apply the current rapid mass to that adjustment layer. So for example, if I were to add a levels adjustment layer here, that levels adjustment layer is added, but it comes with that mask attached to it. So now any levels adjustment that I make, for example, if I want to darken the midtones, maybe bring up the highlights slightly, darken the darks, those adjustments are being targeted by that mask to the brightest areas in the mask. And without that mask, this is what that adjustment would look like. So the mask protecting those shadows enables us to make an adjustment just to those highlights. So we've got levels and curves in the regular adjustment layer menu here in the combo module. We've got levels and curves for modifying mass in the modify section of the rapid mass module. And we've also got levels and curves here in the layer menu of the output section of the rapid mass module. There's technically one more way to use levels and curves in the TK Actions panel. If we've done as I have and already output a mask onto an adjustment layer, but we think we might want to further modify that mask even though it's already been used, we can do that by going into layer mask mode in the rapid mask module. And I do that just by checking this checkbox. And now I'm in layer mask mode. And if I come down to the modify section, these buttons will now modify the mask that is attached to the active layer in the layers panel. So I can now further modify this mask that I already modified once, but if I wanna modify it some more, I can do it in real time and watch how those modifications are affecting the image. So to make further curves modifications, I would just click the curves button, or if I wanted to do levels, I could click the levels button. And now we can see that I can further adjust that mask. If we look over in the layers panel, we can see the mask changing. And if we look on the image, we can see the image changing. And you know, if I really wanted to further target that mask, I can do that in real time. And then I can get out of layer mask mode to go back to the standard mode and see how that adjustment looks. And that's a quick explanation of all the places and ways that you can use levels and curves in the TK Actions panel. So to recap, Levels and curves are adjustments in Photoshop that help you adjust brightness and contrast. They're located three different places in the TK Actions V6 panel because they provide three different functions. In the Combo and CX modules, which are the same, they allow you to create levels and curves adjustment layers with no luminosity mask attached, just a normal levels or curves adjustment layer. In the rapid mask module, in the modify section, they allow you to modify the masks that you're creating. And in the output section, they allow you to output a levels or curves adjustment layer with that luminosity mask attached to it. So that's it. I hope that helps out. All right. Thanks for tuning in once again, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next one.